190 students have to choose at least one elective and at most three electives from a list of three electives E1, E2 and E3. Brilliant. It's a classic Venn diagram question. The first sentence we can understand this. E1, E2, E3. I have to choose at least one. So we call this E1, E2, E3. At least one. So this is zero. Outside is zero. Total is 190. And at most two. So this is zero. It is found that the number of students choosing E1 is half the number choosing E2 and one third the number choosing E3. This is X. This is 2X. This is 3X. Moreover, the number of students choosing two electives is 50. So we have this as P, Q, R. We know P plus Q plus R is 50. So we know E1 union E2 union E3 is 190. Lovely. So E1 union E2 union U3. So E1 union E2 union E3 is E1 plus E2 plus E3 minus E1 intersection E2 which is P minus E2 intersection E3 minus Q minus E1 intersection E3 R sorry E1 intersection E3 is R E2 intersection E3 is Q plus E1 intersection E2 intersection E3 that is nothing and so this is 190 equals X plus 2X plus 3X minus of P plus Q plus R or this is 6x 190 equals 6x minus 50 or 6x is 240 x is 40 so 40 take e1 80 take e2 120 take e3 p plus q plus r is 50 everything intersection is 0 outside is 0 lovely in addition to the given information, which of the following information is necessary and sufficient to compute the number of students choosing only E1, only E2 and only E3. And so let's recap this. E1, E2, E3. We know E1 equals 40, E2 equals 80, E3 equals 120, P, Q, R outside is 0 total is 190 brilliant so which of the following is necessary and sufficient to find those who do only e1 only e2 and only e3 so let's think about this 40 80 120 we have found total is 190 and so so number of students choosing both E1 and E2. Suppose this number were given to be 20. So for, for just argument sake, we say this is 20. And so we can write this as 20 minus Q. This is 60 minus Q. Uh, 60 minus R. We can, we know Q plus R is 30. And maybe we can figure out something from there. So think about this. Uh, so let's see if we know that P plus Q plus R is 50. If we know P, but we do not know Q and R individually. This part is zero. So we know only P. Is there a mechanism to find uh, Q and R. That's what you're thinking about. And so we, we we know P can we find Q and R. And so keep that aside. Let's come back to choice B. Number of students choosing only E1. Brilliant. Number of students choosing both E2 and E3. Only E1. If we know this, then we can find P plus Q. Both E2 and E3, we know R, but P plus Q and R are same. 
not getting any additional information we know r so basically in the first statement this gives us p this gives us r statement 3 number of students choosing only e2 or number of choo students choosing both e2 and e3 only e2 only e2 if you know we know p and q p and r so we'll know q number of students choosing e2 and e3 that is r we'll know q and r therefore we can find p so everything is done here so c will be good no extra information is necessary that's not correct because p plus q plus r is 50 we do not know how much exactly p q r r so we're still in trouble right number of students choosing both e1 and e2 which is p number of students choosing both e2 and e3 e3 and e1 p q and r all three are not required if we know two we can find the third we know this and this we can find the third so this might be sufficient but it's not necessary that's why e is wrong d is not sufficient a and b are not sufficient c is sufficient and necessary e gives us more than required e is out and the choice is c Thank you.